good morning so yeah today is an exciting day don't mind the eye and the sunburn story on that coming later but um yeah i'm really excited you might wonder why i'm not connected to tpn right now because i don't have to do tpn anymore i'm getting my pick line out so yeah i'm gonna i don't know when our home health nurse is coming to take it out but she is and that's what we are gonna do don't mind the cushions it was raining last night anyways i get my pick line out i don't have to have this stupid tube in my arm anymore and i get to go swimming on monday which i'm really excited about really happy about it. I'm a little tired right now, but that's just because I didn't get the best of sleep, I guess. Whatever. Anyways, I was just going to share some of my thoughts after my pick was taken out. So, yeah. Did you find a different, uh... No. We just change it every couple days and okay. reposition it, but... Covered girlfriend. One stick. Okay, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you take a deep breath and bear down like you're pooping, okay? Big breath. Because it creates back pressure in your vessel. So we're not so like, pushing what do you mean bear down? Like you're pushing a poop out. <laughs> so big deep breath. Does that make sense? Okay, mm -hmm. big deep breath and push. Yeah, you're good. It is. So I have to keep sure. pressure on here for a little bit. That was not long though. 33 centimeters. No, I got my pick line out today. I'm really excited. Um, this is a little hard, but anyways, I just want to share some of my feelings about the pick line, or like how I felt about the pick line. I don't know. I didn't really express much emotion because, like, at the time having the pick line for a month, we didn't know obviously how long I was gonna have the pick line, so I was like, just suck it up, get it over with. Didn't really have much feeling, but now I have it out. I kind of. I have more of a feeling because obviously I have had a pick line before. I've had one when I was young. I've had a lot of pick lines when I was younger. I had my last pick line I actually had was like when I was eight after a bout. 
surgery, which, my stomach surgery, which is the last stomach surgery I've had since then. Anyways. So I didn't really have much emotion because I couldn't really comprehend how I felt about it. Um, but it kind of just, like, I mean, there was tiny little bumps in the road, but when I was hospitalized for the bowel obstruction, I was like, this is kind of, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's just a little bump in the road, like, I've dealt with, you know, bowel obstructions before, I've dealt with them at home before without having to go to the hospital, doctor, whatever. And I've been fine, so I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna get this over with, and, like, it will be done, and, you know, I'll move on with my life. There's nothing in me else. Little did I know. There were different plans in mind. My body decided to, you know, hospitalize me again. And, um, I had to be on TPN. And, uh, the whole reason I wanted to do a pick. Um, we had two options. We could either do a port, which I've had before, but I had it taken out last August, or we could do a pick. And the thing was, the port was mainly used for IV fluids. We take my port out because we found a really good, like, supplement, um, IV powder, whatever, that, um, it's kind of like crystal light. It has electrolytes in it that keeps my body, like, on an IV fluid level. And my aunt's actually gotten her port out because of it. I've got my port out because of it. And my one thing was that I didn't want to go backtracking. I didn't want to backtrack into something that I've worked so hard to... earn. For me, it felt like I had to work really hard to earn that right to get my port out. I mean, I had gone through... I have moved mountains, I've gone through heaven and hell, but the one thing I didn't want to do was backtrack, because I kind of felt like I was being defeated by backtracking into a port, and you might be asking why it's the same thing if you do the pick, you're kind of backtracking, but the thing was that I have had a port, I've had a Proviac, which is like a permanent port kind of like a permanent IV but like it's a permanent port um in me I had one since I was like two and then I broke that and we got a port and I've had a port ever since I was 13 and pick line there was always that like it was short and I didn't have to have it forever with the port, my main concern was, number one, that I was backtracking, and it just kind of felt like a defeat, right? But as I started, like, going through it with doctors, I started realizing that if I did the port, like, there was no way that I was getting it out. It was going to stay in me for the rest of my life, and I didn't want that. I didn't want to have another thing about me that people question. So I decided to go with the pick for those reasons. And this last month has gone by so, I don't want to say quick. It feels quick. But it just like, I don't know how to explain it. It felt quick. Of course, there were times where I doubted that I would be able to go off of TPN. The way doctors presented me with this problem and the solutions, they kind of made it sound like there was no solution that was short term. And if I had done surgery, it could have in my life and I would have been on TPN if I survived I would have been on TPN for about a few months at least maybe getting this pick line out was such a huge accomplishment because as I said like there was no telling how long I was gonna be on TPN how long whether I get surgery or not it 
all depended on how my body reacts. And where I was sitting, it felt like I was going to be in TPN, on TPN with a pick line forever. It disrupted the things that I love. I love dance. I've always loved dance. But trying out for a girl and dance company, I didn't try out for dance company number one because I was attached to TPN when I should have been practicing for dance and drill, practicing everything, getting it down to a T. And I didn't make drill, but it got to the point where I couldn't even try out for dance company because I wasn't prepared. I wasn't ready. And it took away my outlet for everything that's going in my life. And to finally feel that peace and to finally feel that I'm free of that burden. It's an indescribable feeling. I don't have to sit with a backpack on my lap that's attached to me. I don't have to worry about getting caught on a freaking door. And I know that sounds stupid, but I've been caught on a door. I've been caught on my bed. I've been caught on every surface imaginable with the tubing. To get this relief feels so great. To be free again feels amazing. I'm so happy. It's just another bump in the road. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys this little pick. So this is my pick line right here. Yeah, it was a lot shorter than I thought it was. Um, it goes basically up the arm and down here. Anyways, you get it. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. And make sure you guys, that's the end of the video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, post notifications bell, because I post on Wednesdays and Fridays. Oh yeah, bye.